Hey, so what's good, everybody? Corbino here, and we got ourselves a great. Thank God it's Wednesday this month. So many great, so many great reads. August was a good month for comics. Let's get started. We got TMNT issue 85. The turtles are ran back into Leatherhead, and he is going crazy. He thinks that Krang is alive, and he's haunting him. Well, and he's like telling uh, Leatherhead how much of a failure failure he is, and da da da. So now Leatherhead, he was about to be good, and well, not good, but you know as good as Leatherhead can be, and work with the turtles a little. But now, since he thinks the turtles are Krang, and he's seeing them, seeing him, he's attacking the turtles and going crazy, and like, yo, Leatherhead, what's going on, dude? And he's just going crazy. He thinks he's seeing Krang. And he's like, you're supposed to be dead. Oh, and it's, it's getting crazy there. Leatherhead's my boy. I want to see him do good in the comic. But we'll see. But it's he's, he's going crazy. Next we got is Justice League number 5 and 6. Um, we got the Legion of Doom. They are doing their own thing. They're, they're getting real evil. You know, we got Joker and Lex Luthor in the minds of Hot Girl and Batman. And then Batman and Hot Girl are in the minds of Martian Manhunter and Superman. And Martian Manhunter and Superman are getting really messed up. But then, you know, Hot Girl's getting knocked out. Hot Girl saves the day. Batman saves the day. But then Flash is over here fighting the Turtle and Grodd. And he's going real slow trying to stop them. And then you got Sinestro doing his own thing. And he's got the Ultraviolet. Is that what they're calling it? Ultraviolet lanterns now. And he's got all sorts of lanterns with him. And John's one of them. And it's getting real crazy. And the issue ends or the end of those two issues ends and it's even crazier earth now i think it was earth now has the symbol covering it and i don't know if it's supposed to be all the lanterns standing that closely together that they're glowing and it makes it that symbol but i believe it's the white lantern symbol but i'll, I'll pop it up here and you'll be able to see but it's getting crazy a okay, weapon x first of all, i like this name uh they were making jokes about it in the last issue, and they're going by Weapon X Force now. So that's kind of cool, but Sabretooth is in charge, like he's been slowly becoming, because Old Man Logan's gonna die or disappear or whatever. And this is just gonna be a quick thing. He, I haven't seen him in any comics, besides, you know, a couple things of Weapon X lately, because he's been disappearing from everything. And he's in the extermination series that's been going on. And I don't even know who the little girl is, but she tells, she's like, your hands hurt it, hurting, and, or hurt or cut or something. He's like, shh, don't tell anyone. I'm assuming because it's his healing factor is failing or whatever. I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we got Omega Red now on the team. And now we got Mystique on the team, which I don't understand because she was just at her daughter's wedding saying she is good now. But she's obviously evil again. And I'm not sure how I'm going to like this team. Because, I mean, I don't hate or love any of the characters of the new Weapon X, Weapon X Force. Ex the only character I actually like is Domino, and that's a newer thing. And we're going to see how that turns out. they got to rescue a brainwashed uh, girl. I don't even know who she is, but I guess she's Sabretooth's ex. And they got to save her, but things go bad, and Deadpool shows up at the end of it. So, see how that goes. And Deadpool's also been showing up in Mr. and Mrs. X. So, I don't know when all these take place you know how that goes next we got is champions 23 um man thing is you know attacking uh snow guard and viv and viv is having like in a coma type deal and she's seeing her robot sister that tried to kill her and whatnot and, uh anyways so she's remembered a bunch of crazy stuff from her past realizing she's a lot more human than she was, was led to believe just like her father um and all the champions are fighting uh, man thing and at the end of the issue no nova kind of saves the day but he's not nova he's just sam alexander which we've been over that but also he doesn't fully save the day because he him and wasp or i thought she shrunk him which i thought was all that happened but at the end of the issue they're like oh my god where did naughty and sam go so i don't know if that actually means something bad or if they're just shrunk i i don't know next we got his paper girls number 23 and this person on the cover here i don't she's like got a teletubby stomach i don't know what her deal is she's like an outlaw or something i didn't really understand what was going on with her okay uh caitlin showed up like a millisecond ago but anyways um now you made me lose my train of thought oh but you know the girls are in the future now and aaron and the two tiffany's just found 
Wari from the prehistoric time, so that's a little confusing. And she's like, yeah, I know who you are, Aaron. You were just here a few days ago, which I don't know what that means. So we're going to figure that out. And then Mac and KJ are now holding some doctor hostage so that he can get rid of Mac's cancer. And it's a dope little, like, holographic futuristic knife but still dope uh, next we got is x23 number three um the cuckoo sisters have gabby and they are using her to drain like her life her youth or whatever for the fourth cuckoo sister because she's all old and gross looking now and also i didn't know that laura and warren broke up but i guess they did and he brings her back i don't you know comics and she drops through and it's like oh, i'm here to save the day and they're like it's too late and then a big blast goes off or like kind of like a big blast i don't know what's going on there but you know gabby's fine it's she's not gonna die if she does then i'll be pissed but she's not gonna die so we're good um next we got is the walking dead 182 uh rick is finishing up showing uh the governor all of their different communities the kingdom i don't even know where else they have left but they meet John, the guy with the weird looking eye. He's now, I guess, in charge of the sanctuary. And so it seems like things are good with the sanctuary now. And Rick and John even talk about that. But so now Rick, Eugene, Dwight, and why can I never remember Dwight's girl's name? Anyways, they're all going back to the Commonwealth with the governor. Remember Michonne and her daughter are there. And they're going to be there for like a month because Dwight, Dwight's telling Heath that tell magna when we left and if we are not back within a month then send people out what why are we going for a full month you don't need to be gone that long and i you know i don't trust the commonwealth people and eugene has like a little thing hidden on their little wagons and it looks like shovels and maybe some barbed wire or something rick's like what's that about and eugene's like don't ruin the surprise rick and i'm like what does that mean eugene and also the governor, I thought she was trying to hit on Rick, which I was not having. But also, um, first off, Maggie is not a fan of the governor. Not at all. But also, I mean, can you blame her from our past... Uh, past... What is the word I'm looking for? Mm. Past... Past run-ins with governors. There we go. Um, so I can't blame her there. But she's telling Rick, she's like, we're not going to be too much trouble, are when He's like... Hopefully not too much, and we know Rick, he's gonna be a lot of trouble. Okay, we got Scooby Apocalypse, number 28. Also, I just met the guy, I already forgot his name. He's the artist of Scooby Apocalypse. I gotta look up his name, I meant to do that before. Olaf. Pat Olaf, I just met him at West Virginia PopCon, um, and he is now the artist of Scooby Apocalypse. He's been the artist since I think like 25, 26, and I got him to sign issue 27 for me. Anyways, Daphne and Scrappy are teaming up, and they're a badass team doing their own thing. And they're talking about, you know, dead loved ones and all that. And she's like, if you keep bringing up Fred, I'm going to kill you myself. Da, 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 you know, Daphne. And at the end of the issue, like I've been saying, we never saw Fred's body. So how do we know he's actually dead? And then in some alley, it shows a creepy ghost, glowing-eyed, pale-skinned Fred standing there. So is he a ghost? Is he a zombie? Is this Fred? I don't know what's going on there, but of course he's back because comics, you can't stay dead. So now we got to figure out what's going on with Fred. Next, we got a sideways number seven. And yes, Derek's mom did die. The police are questioning everything and Derek's not doing too hot about all this. His dad's ignoring him and he's at school picking fights. And then there's these people called, what do they call themselves? The something seven. Sorcerer Seven? I don't know. I, I don't remember what they're calling themselves, but there's only six of them. They're like, yeah, because we need you, Derek. And then it's a cliffhanger. And I don't even know. I think I knew who one of these people were. He's like that little short guy with pointy elves and the weird cat. He's always appears in like Justice League Dark type stuff. You know who, you, who I'm talking about. But yeah, I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, so it looks like Derek's mom is really dead and he's not handling that too well. Okay, so this issue was insane. This is Runaways number 12. Um, it starts off with all the way back, like, in the first three volumes of Runaways. Back when Alex was still alive, before we knew he was evil. Like, back at the beginning. It is crazy. 
and um, it's showing, and it's even, it's got, I don't know if it's the same, the exact pages, but it's got the art style of the original, and that was really cool, and it shows Carolina kissing Nico, and Nico's like, no, what are you doing? You, I'm with Alex, girls, that's, uh, girls, and she's like, oh, sorry, and but now Nico's like, oh, actually, I want that, and at the end of the issue, they do kiss, and it's got a cool page or whatever. I've never really shipped them like everyone else has, and you ship them in the show, don't you? Yeah, I thought so. I've just personally never really shipped them. Maybe I just got too attached to her and Alex. I don't know. But I'll come back to that in a second. Um, Gert and Vic, just his head still. And we're realizing he doesn't want a body because he's still afraid that he'll become the evil victorious from the future that future Gert warned us about all the way back at the you know early days of the Runaways. He doesn't want a body so that he can do any evil. So that's really cool. Vic, I feel you. But just like I've been saying, it seems like everybody's been flirting with other people lately. And Vic and Gert have got the hots for each other. And I'm not liking it. They both go back in time to see some glowing blue butterflies that went extinct. And I'm like, first off, you're going to go back in time. Make it so Gert can be your guys' age. That's what I've been saying for a while. But no, we're going to go look at some butterflies. And then Vic and Gert kiss. And I'm like... First off, unless, did her and Chase break up? I mean, I know technically he's an adult and she's a teenager because of, you know, time travel stuff, but last time I checked, they're still together. So she's cheating on him. So fuck you, Gert. But also fuck you, Vic, for doing that. Just, but anyway, so now we get back to, I don't even know what Molly and Chase are up to this issue. I don't even remember. But uh, we get back to Gert and, uh, Car or not Gert, we get back to Nico and Carolina and they're kissing they love each other now or you know it seems like they love each other and they're like all right let's go in and carolina's like no i don't want to go in and she was like just because we're going in doesn't mean we have to stop and i'm like ugh, gross but so they're about to go in and then you see a little bubble pop up out of the corner you know someone said and he goes nico question mark and it turns the page and it's fucking alex what he's supposed to be dead I don't, is he from another timeline? Is he a clone? Is he from, I don't, I have no idea. But Alex is back. And that's the end of that issue. And I gotta fucking wait. Thanks. Okay, we got Exile 6 and 7. Um, this is really cool. They're in the Old West. And it's like, what are they calling? Magnus or something? Instead of Magneto. And they got Quick Peter, which is, <laughs> that's kind of funny. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's not funny. Uh, which is Quicksilver, and you got like, they're all old fashioned, old western. You got Toad, Mastermind, and uh, Wanda. And they've been kidnapping people, apparently. And turns out it's the, what are they calling him? A Proctor? No, I don't, that doesn't sound right. I don't know, maybe Proctor. I don't know, but it was, it's Professor X in the Old West in this dimension, and he looks creepy as hell. And he has been controlling Magneto in the Brotherhood of Evil in the Old West version, and Nocturne, and Morph, and they, they reunite with them, and things are going great. Also, T'Challa looks bad ass in the Old West. He's like, they call me the king, but you can call me T'Challa, and he just looks so badass. Like, I'd watch an Old West and T'Challa movie. But anyways at the end of the day everything's good and dandy they say everybody from the evil professor x but morph dies in the process which sucks because we just got him back and morph is my dude i love him uh tj's back so hopefully she'll be alive but i don't i don't even how did the freaking give me one second how did that end something cliffhangery happened oh i know what happened the watchers just came to attack and take everybody so i don't know how that's gonna turn out but the final issue we're going to talk about is Marvel 2-in-1, The Thing and Human Torch number 9. Um, as we know, the Fantastic Four are back. Well, not back yet. First issue came out, but they're not officially back. They did say they will be back 100% in issue 2. But so The Thing, Human Torch, they're at odds. They're not really liking each other anymore. They don't have their powers. And who... Is it The Thinker? The Thinker, he's created his own Fantastic Four. And he says for him to be the new... Um, Reed Richards and Fantastic Four he has to kill the last two remaining ones and you know they obviously win the good guys win and they're run out in the desert and they're you know they're gonna die they're dehydrated tired worn out and shit and the thing is full human human torch doesn't have any of his firepowers and they both fall to the ground and pass out 
and it starts zooming in on him and you see rocks starting to appear on the thing and you see fire starting to appear on human torch so i'm like oh what does that mean and then you see, uh, it's like a voice saying something like get up little brother and it's invisible woman and so that's awesome and i can't wait to see the fantastic four four once more yeah so yeah it's uh, august was a great month for comics there's a lot of good cliffhangers and i'm ready for september so yes until next time stay geeky hi do you have a pupper meow, meow. if so Get Le Bully Make Box. Is that Bully Make Box? It's orange. It's orange? It's Max? It's, it's got dogs on it. Do you like dogs when you have dogs? You have Bully Oh! <laughs> that's a phone. This is, that's them calling. Phones Hello? can't, phones can't use hey, these. Hey, Bully Make People, we're but you talking know what? about you right now. Tell them we're recording their ad. We're recording an ad for you because your box is so cool. Awesome. Dogs love it. What was that? Promo code IG10? Puppers love them! They said to use promo code IG10 for stuff off. $10 off promo code IG10.